not just my birthday. There's a name change. My new name is Lamborghini Love. As you can see me in my new Lamborghini. Come, on, come around here and get this. You see that? You see, you see what's going on? Lamborghini yours, man. Big boy shit, man. This is how I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it real big, man. My birthday, happy 41. You know, birthday to me. The book drop today. Go check the book out. Hit in the link down here. I'll go to Wild 267, check it out. But listen, man. Million dollars worth of game, man. Episode 66. Lamborghini. Lam Lamborghini Low. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just capping. I just want to see how I feel, you know. Everybody on social media be capping. I just wanted to sit in a Lambo and act like I bought it, act like I'm really stunned, like I really get money. Like, this, you know, I just wanted to try it, but it feel good. But, you know, this ain't my style. I'm more like a Prius, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go jump in the Prius or a minivan, some shit like that. But this capping shit, it ain't bad. I, you know, I wouldn't mind, you know, it, it feels good for the moment. Like, damn, it's my car. I'm flexing. But listen, right now you tuned in the Million Dollars for the Game, episode 66, Wild 267, Happy Birthday Edition, and it's just like that. Put your hands together. Come on. Uh. Put your hands together. Come on. Uh. Rock. Put your hands together. Come on. Uh. Put your hands together. Come on. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday! I said, "Wallow is a nut." <laughs> I'm not that part. I'm not going for. <laughs> and today is his birthday. Yeah, it's okay. my birthday, y'all. Yeah, come on, talk to me. He turned 41 today. Don't threaten me with a good time. There we go, this shit, <laughs> yeah. bro. And yes, he misses his Sally so bad. Sally, what's up? He is home from upstate. <laughs> Welcome on, Wallow. And we got Wallo some cupcakes. Right. <laughs> that was his favorite thing. He used to bake in the kitchen. Cupcake for man. All of the inmates. Cupcake Wallo's man. Wallo's back home. Yeah, I'm home, baby. He did What's up, y'all? 20 piece. Yes. Go, Wallo. He was up there doing <laughs> niggas' hands and feet. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Stop putting that smile on my name. This is my day today. Don't do that shit. This is birthday. I didn't do nobody <laughs> hands and feet. I had somebody working with me that done that. Don't that fuck with me. Don't smile on my name on my birthday, man. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Wallo. Happy birthday to this night. Look at him. He, 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 he. he, he. Got the poppers, y'all. Hey, we celebrating Wallo today. Well, How do you do it? No, 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 no. Don't do it that way. It's going to shoot your face. But tell me how you do it. How point it in the air. You got to point it in the air. Oh, oh, fuck. That is that crazy. Come on, dog. Happy birthday, Wallo. <laughs> no man shit, man. You and we got play. cupcakes. Yay <laughs> for cupcakes. Not the dumb shit, man. Not the dumb shit. How old are you, Wallow? Old, I'm 41. Listen, yes, I'm 41 today, man. Uh, uh, welcome to, as I will say, me, 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 million dollars worth of game. This is the Wallow 267 birthday edition. I'm 41 today. Listen, man, uh, before we get into the sponsor, I would just say, man, I'm thankful to be here. Uh, a lot of my a lot of my homeboys, they make it. A lot of people from my neighborhood, they make it. I'm 20 twice plus one. You do the math on that. Yeah, I lost you with that. But uh, 20 twice plus one. Yeah, yeah, 20 twice plus one. The Wild Old Edition is brought to you by Barstool Sports. But on top of that, what I need y'all to do right now, down below, you're going to see a link today. My book come out, The Life of Wild, I mean, the, the Mind of Wild 267. You know what I mean? It's just a book of some of my favorite videos, me, me giving the game up. You know how this stuff goes, some extra stuff in there, whatever. But listen, I want you to check that out. <laughs> you know, uh, hit the link below. You know what I mean? Go, go to my, you know, my website, wild267.com. Check that out. That's the birthday gift to y'all. You know what I mean? But, uh, it's just a great day, man. I'm ready to load these, put these candles on here, and we're going to go up. You want to do the joint before we put hey, the listen, candles on man. here? This episode is sponsored by New Amsterdam Vodka. Shout out to the NAQ, the New Amsterdam queen, my wife, Tootie. You know what I mean? She, uh, she always uses New Amsterdam Vodka to make her cocktails. But New Amsterdam Vodka is 80 proof vodka made from some of the finest quality grains from America's heartland. It's distilled five times with an unparalleled smoothness. It's filtered three times with a crisp finish. New Amsterdam Vodka is slightly sweet on the palate. It's also, you know, you could drink it however you want it. You could drink it straight. You could drink it on the rocks. You could drink it with soda. You could drink it with juice. Or you can make a New Amsterdam mule. But New Amsterdam... 
Vodka is the official vodka for Barstool Sports. Look at that. New Amsterdam vodka. Let's get into Wallow's birthday. What are you doing, dog? Yeah. What you doing? You, you miss my counter. 16. You don't actually. Dog, what are you doing, bro? 17. 18. <laughs> Hold up. I'll put my camera. Be a while. Dog, it's you think you ain't putting no fucking 19. 41 candles? This nigga's stupid as shit. Like, who the fuck gonna well, put 41 fuck candles what? on the camera? Come on, man. man. Come on with the dumb shit. Man. He gotta be able to put all these candles on the No, no, no. Like, the fucking not. First of all, let me just tell you something. First of all, what the fuck is you after you about? like 13, 12, you don't put all the candles of your age on the fucking cake. He gonna give everybody. When I was fucking... 13, 12, I was in a fucking juvenile facility. I'm yeah, doing, I'm doing what I couldn't my do. Nigga, before. It's his birthday. He get to put yeah, the candles the on the cake. You, nigga, he you will give. Start a fire. No, he'll give everybody in this bitch Corona trying to blow that motherfucker no, out. I'm just man. gonna do one big blow. Fuck is wrong. One, one big, big blow. blow. No, I'm not saying oh, it like you the blower now, huh? But why is you messing with blow? No, dog. Fuck that. We got the 41 right here. That's 41. There See, you go. simple. I was running out of space, but that, that don't make no sense. Just oh. two. There's two right. candles. The fuck is you doing? You putting 41. Did you, leave those. You know how much fucking spit he going to leave on the fucking cake trying to blow 41 oh, no, fucking no, candles fuck out, man? I ain't going to eat none of the cake any damn way. Why would you eat cake? I'm eating I'm some. I want a cupcake. I'm waiting. Me too. Motherfucker, I'm going to try to. I love eat. white cake and no, white that. icing. Fuck that. Let's get into your gifts, man. Let's get into your gifts. Yes, yeah, this is my some favorite gifts. time. Yes. Give me some gifts. Pass Gift the time. cupcake. Ah, oh, yeah, nigga, nigga, that no, Look at it. Are you excited? Look at it. I hit the bitches under the table. Yo, uh, yo, I knew y'all. I seen y'all talking about something. We got you some gifts, man. Oh, did I put the one on the wrong side. They got to go right there. You looking at your yeah. dyslexic. Hold up. Hmm. Let, me put the, let me light the cake first. No, man, we ain't gonna light till we about to eat, man. No, Damn. I wanna blow, I wanna make a wish. Let the nigga light his candles. Oh, this nigga's a fucking dickhead. Look, 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 like light this joint. <laughs> look at him. He, he had the gloves, shit. though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Them fucking gloves about to light on fire. No, like, no, these real they, level. They flame retarded. Like Mike Jackson head did back in the day. Show everybody my cake. Look. Everybody look at my cake, y'all. Look. Oh, See my cake? Yeah, that's vicious. Look at that. Yes. That's so fucking oh, nice. Oh, no, you trying. Look, look, look at my cake. So nice. You see what I'm saying? You got my cake. So I'm just doing it. Cute. Oh, make sure you pass me chill, chill, so chill. Nice. I was ready to eat. Let me make a wish before I blow the candles Give me out. my cupcake. Look, y'all. Everybody see my cake. Look, that joint nice. Why are you so happy like that? Gosh, let me make a wish. Yep. Happy birthday, so happy Wallow. Y'all supposed to clap. Happy birthday, my guy. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, man. What you wish? That you stop being a nut ass nigga. Give me a cupcake. <laughs> I've been wishing that off since I've been the fuck home. I, I don't need much. I just. That's cool, okay. man. Okay. What's my gifts? Who this from? That's from me right there. Got me some drip. This I feel like, you know, I like them t shirts and sweaters and shit. Some track <laughs> pants. Track. Mm -hmm. Dita sweatpants. Yeah, it's my like first it. gift from this nut. Are you excited? That's perfect for you. Oh, he got me a joint for me and April. She like the little <laughs> dress up joints. Oh, no. He got him a cop uniform. Oh, man. He's a cop. cuff me to the bed. Oh, he and he has his own little baton. Huh? Oh, no, that's man. a real cop uniform, bro. Fuck, you give me a cop uniform for you. Because you're not ass officer. Look at your little badge. Because you're not ass nut officer Jonathan Tackle. Look at him. There you Show go. us your badge. There you go, you nut ass nigga. That's perfect. Oh, for that's you, perfect. Man. Oh, and it fits. Shit. Yo, get the fuck That's perfect. That's what on me when we in the bedroom. Fuck is wrong with you, nut ass nigga. <laughs> so like this. Look at you, you're driving your police car, you nut All ass All I do is cut the butt cheeks <laughs> out. Like this. Damn. Freeze. You're under arrest. You got a right to remain naked. Look at it. You got, got Any, you some handcuffs. Look. Anything you say. And a baton. And a baton. Look at you. Mm-hmm. She gonna like this. Spank it with this. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Hold Still on. my sex life, nigga. You know I'm little... Like the, little, like the party. No, that's the real thing. <laughs> he said I, I want to give him my gift myself. Oh, look. I just was, you know. Y'all was putting some shit in the bag. Wilo, I know we just met. But I put a lot of thought into this. Yeah, let's get it. 
birthday. And I Ooh. hope you like it. I tried to think because you're a simple man, a humble mm -hmm. man. So I wanted to give you stuff I with. Knew was over there. I knew y'all was doing something over there. I wanted to give you stuff with she necessity. Yeah, right. So um, I wanted to give you stuff because being that you're humble and sweet and loving and caring, I wanted to give you stuff that you could actually like get enjoyment out of, but you need. So these are all necessity gifts. Okay. So did you get one at a time? Which one no, do you think no. I should start with? It don't matter. What you Which one you want? The big one or the little one? I'll take the little one first. All right. See the, see the best great. for last. That's good. Loose shingle razzy dazzle on there. Yes. Oh, put this over here. I feel like we need a drum roll for my shit. What you get, bro? I'm so what excited you get, bro? for his reaction. Oh, what you get? What you get? Ringos. It's a penis ring. Super shrimp. <laughs> Now, I got it as an extra small, but don't worry about the size. Wait. Don't worry about the size. Shit. What the fuck am I going to do with this? Don't worry about the size. Listen, this what is the fuck? Help I'm, I'm, I'm baby lady. I can't do nothing with this shit right here. No, I got to help you What's fit this? that. I said my balls can't fit in one of this. One of my balls can't. Oh, damn it. Stretch. Do stretch. That's a pleasure ring, and it's extra small, but I have you something to help so, you with that. So what's that for, though? It's, a, it's for extra pleasure. So for April. No, you talking about so, this. But what is, it do, though? No, this it's is just, a, it, this it, is it, a it, cock it, ring. It holds you, keeps your, uh, the blood circulation in, John. You know how you just be in the porn industry. Yes, but I know you worried about the size oh, so and the you, size wait, wait, not a big on. deal. So you was looking at niggas' cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking at nobody's cock ring. I'm just saying that's what this is. Come How on. you know what a cock ring is? Come on, man. I'm just saying. Listen, this, leave this your penis ring, ring out because this goes with it. it. And it keeps the circulation so when you're peaceful, when you, you won't come. But I know like, you was worried about the size thing here. So this I make sure you can fit it. Let me see. Yo, that's great. I'm so excited. Let me see. Oh my God. She got him a blender. What the now, fuck I'm gonna do with this? That's a penis pump. So after you <laughs> pump your penis, you should be able to fit the extra small penis ring. Oh. But it's all for, Gil, it's for Gil, Gil, enjoyment. Gil, for your Gil birthday. Gonna need this. Oh. So that's the pump to pump it up so you be able to fit the ring. And it's easy to use, simple. And you have a lot of uses of it, of the same pump. You just use handheld. Pop, 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 pop. Just to get it up to as big as it could get. <laughs> she got you a penis pumped up. <laughs> Look, he, you can tell he going to use that motherfucker, though. Right, make sure you get all the pieces. Hey, and my man said he's going out of town tonight. Yeah. Hey, happy birthday, bro. He's going in. He's he going on a birthday trip going, with his lady. So you can tell he's sure going they have a good time. Look at him. He could tell he want to use that I'm motherfucker. I'm trying to see what's going on. What the right, fuck so you is insert that, your the penis into the bottom, and then you just give it a pop. So, uh, hold on, wait, throw that back in there. No, you can't put your... Yes, she is. Oh, that's where, you put that's your, where your penis goes. So your drone will slam up in there. And you pump it up, right. Couple like, pumps, and that'll get you ready for the do. ring. It'll get them, keep them hard <coughs> and ready. I don't really... I'm, He's 41, I'm, so you know, stuff changes. Damn, she said you're 41 and you ain't yet hung. Oh, 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 and they give you a ring with this A drone. bonus ring, but you might can't fit that they one. They give you another cock ring. All right. Because you know what cock rings is. <laughs> he Do you like it so far, Wallow? No, I'm not saying I'm going to give it away. I ain't going to use it. <laughs> somebody, somebody, you know, I'll just what, leave it. Damn, so you just going to throw gonna it. You're going to re-gift that I ain't going to throw you a gift away. I might give it to Pop. Pop might use this. Pop Tracks. Okay. Shout out to Pop Tracks. HD I'm, Studios. I'm, I'm, you know, gifts, y'all. Whoa, what's this? Oh, this is a titty pop. <laughs> I, I know how much you love breasts, and I know how you like sweets. <laughs> Little booby pops. Yes. Hmm. They didn't have any brown boobies, so that's a light-skinned woman booby pop. Pussy patch sours? Sour pussy Sweet patches. Sweet, sour, chewy pussy, soft candy. Yes. <laughs> In the shape of little pussies. Hmm. You got a kinky birthday gift, but that's because I knew you was going away with your lady. Hmm. Ooh. They, yo, they come like little edible there's a two pack. This is a great man. Oh, they really look like pussies too. Look. Yeah. That's a good guess. Little fruity pussies. You're welcome. Y'all gotta stay out of my sex life, man. That's my last gift, bro. Y'all gotta stay up out of my sex life. That's I know that's monumental to you right there. On some serious shit. Would you like a gummy pussy? Yeah, no, no. KY Jelly, what you give me this for? Because I know you still prep your piece about three times a week. <laughs> now you got a whole kit. You got a whole pump with the, with the, the jelly. Thing. You know, you you was in the crib. You seen it laying around. 
I, I said, what the fuck he keep KY Jelly at the That's crib That's the big pack. This it's back big when one. he ain't had no bitches. He was so long. Like, you nigga, keep KY Jelly at the crib. This is that shit. Yeah, though, I know you prep your piece. Even though you get your action from April, you still prep your piece about three, four times a week. He, it's healthy. He, he, you know what I mean? He, he jerk off. Boy, yeah, I me mean, jerk off. Listen, King. man, this is this is a great birthday. This thing's starting off right already, man. How, how you feeling, man? I feel good, actually. I feel good. You know what I mean? Like uh, you made us mandatory that we wear these nut ass hats. Yeah, gotta camera. wear the hats. Can gotta we take them off? Today. No, don't take them off. No, you don't do that. No fucking birthday. You don't. You don't. You gotta follow the birthday guy rules. So, so let me ask you a question, man. How does it feel to be out of? How many birthdays have you been home? I've been home for thirty eight. 39, four. this is my fourth birthday home. This is your fourth birthday? Yeah, I was home. I was, I've was. i been home for this birthday. This is, like with some real stuff, this probably be my best birthday. This is like, I would say this is like, uh, for me to be in the position I am right now in life, this might be my best birthday. You Can know? I ask you a question? Why you got that stupid ass Crockett and Tubbs shirt on? Oh no, I was feeling like, you know, I, I like stuff like this. This is this like, low, you know, cause when you wear stuff like that, people look at you because like- Because you, 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 you going to, yeah, I'm going to Miami. So All you right. put that stupid ass shirt on because you're going to Miami? Yeah. Yeah, I had to. It's your beat shirt. Because, you look like an off-duty. Because I duty. blend in. I blend no, in. No, you don't. You look like I an off-duty fucking police officer, That's exactly man. what no, you I look don't. like. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, the fuck I don't. Yes, the fuck you do. Uh, this shit is or a retired this blend police into officer. This the vibe of where I'm going to yeah, be at. You look like a fucking retired police officer. You look mm -hmm. like a retired CEO that did 40 years of fucking gratis for it, man. Yeah. No, but not you won't be having this type. This is a dope shirt. This is style. This is like a real private life. investigator. Beach Miami yeah, you style. look like a fucking this Miami style. <laughs> You look like a private you know investigator like <laughs> that has a beach crime to solve. Damn, this is some deep shit, but I'm gonna tell you something. I wanna say something to you guys out there today, not just my birthday today, is happy Father's Day to happy all you Happy Father's Day. Fathers let's get into the next Father's sponsor, though. Day. You wanna get into the let's next get, listen, sponsor? Listen, man, let's, let's get into the next sponsor, right? Let's Before get we get into Father's Day. One, 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 of, one of my, uh, as should I say, what time is cupcake time? Favorite sponsor, Simply Safe, man. One thing I like about Simply Safe is this. Listen, first of all, Simply Safe is a money back guarantee. I'm talking to you, listen. If you go to simplysafe.com backslash game, you get free shipping. And listen, 60 days free. Listen, 60 days, listen. 60 days, you get to like try this shit out, figure it out, see if it works for you or not. One thing I like about it, it's simple. You pull it out of the box. I'm talking about, bop, 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 put together. it up. Put the, I'm talking about, it's just like this. I'm talking about, and this top flight security. Like, listen, if you had like, for instance, like this guy, he used to secure at the, uh, the strip joint once when we wasn't on. Like the nights that we wasn't dancing, he'd be the security. So his security was tough. Like was I'm dancing, talking, though? yeah, yeah, we was dancing. Shit, could could no <laughs> listen. But well, hold up, check this. Could nobody get by this guy when he was a goddamn security for the strip bar for the mill 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 review strip bar. He was security there. He used to pat people down and all that. But that's another story. Make sure the strippers wasn't. I don't know. He he worked the strip room too. His security was tight. But one thing I like about listen, simply safe. Listen, it's easy. You plug it in in your home and listen. I plugged mine in. It was simple. Pulled it out of the box. I mean, got it on my phone, and everything was just like it was. That's the thing that make simply safe. It's simply. It's simple. You see what I'm saying? So I, what I want you to do is listen. Go to go to simplysafe.com backslash game. Well, you slash game. You know what I mean? Free shipping and a sixty day money back guarantee. You know what I mean? 60, listen, sixty day money back guarantee. So you can have any crib for sixty days if you ain't fucking with it. Cool. Oh, I like it. I like it. I don't. I, whatever. You can send it back and get all your money back. And it's just like that. Simplysafe.com slash the code is game. Okay. Listen, man. So now that we back. And it was Wallow's birthday. He came on. He was a little charged up. Let's formally get into what we do. This is me, 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 Happy Father's Day to everybody, man. Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Yeah, because Father's you know what? Day. We don't get celebrated like the women get celebrated. No, fuck no. <clears throat> and I and I'm just want to say this. Y'all get a day. I just want to say really? this. You know. I hope today a lot of a lot of fathers, you know, really was celebrated. And not you half ass dads, not you niggas that shot your kids out your nuts and they ain't been a part of their life ever since. I'm talking about the real fathers, right? Because we get shitted on the most. Why would you say that? Why would I say that? They got Mother's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. 
All type of holidays. No, all types of Valentine's holidays. Valentine's Day is for both. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no, no. I Valentine's fucked up. Valentine's Day is for y'all fucking ass. Don't forget. Facts. Don't forget what's name day. I fucked up and I got to make it right because she acting, she tripping right now. Day. Right. That's, a, that's like 10 days in fucking year. Right. Stop hold, fucking hold up. up. Hold up. Let's talk about the fact that the women even take Father's Day. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a minute. You have women tomorrow talking that shit. And that's, right. that's you can't do that. Some mothers look like fathers. Hey, mm. but you can't Damn. get that day. Y'all already got every other day. It was hard. Y'all, even if right. the dad ain't in the house, even if you was the, that single parent mom, you you are not a father. Right. You let can't get day. that. Let us have that day. That because one day. at the end of the day, and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all like this. This fucking year is 2020 been a fucked up year. Fucked up. But this fucking year. I'm gonna tell all you motherfuckers, where the camera? What camera? I'm, I'm in this fucking camera. We don't want no fucking cologne this year. <laughs> yeah, they, that's All it. right, if you not the fucking kids, we don't want no fucking cologne. We don't want no fucking socks. A we tie. don't want no nigga fucking drawers. His, Clippers? His boo-boo and right. black funeral. We don't want no fucking ties. How about a lawnmower? Nigga, nigga ain't even got a suit. And y'all get a nigga a tie. Toolbox. Like, we don't want none of that shit. No, we want the big motherfucking gifts this year. All right? Stop! Stop lining the fuck up at J.C. Penney's, Ross, and Ross, Marshalls, slippers, motherfucker, Burlington Coat Factory. Get them slippers, baby. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then they getting the, the fifty percent off. They, they, go, they, go to, they go to Ross to get the 50% off on the right. cologne section and, and some drawers. Right, what, box up us some fucking gift, cologne. Fry him some chicken. No, what, what, box us up crazy. some fucking cologne and they give us the big piece of fucking chicken and, say and think y'all fucking did something. Buy him a winter coat. And post your picture up. No, ain't no fucking winter coat. It ain't, fucking, it ain't fucking Give winter him a nice right winter now. winter coat for the she, winter. She he has to stay warm, doesn't he? Get him a coat or a wallet. Mm -hmm. Get him That's another wallet. Up. All right, we tired of that shit. Bullshit. Like, Dude. we got to get rings. We got to get cars. You like, better get we rings gotta, and cars. Businesses. You got to start businesses and all Down that Down payments shit. on right. homes. You got you to gotta get red bottoms and shit. Fucking Gucci bags. Fucking bags. Christian Dior. You got niggas got to do nice all this. Get a nice watch, a Fitbit. No, no, niggas got to do. Fitbit. Yeah. Niggas got to do all this shit. Petty shit. Right. You petty. But then your bitches is petty when it come to us. Get him a very nice toolbox and then give him a project. No, fuck that. Toolbox for what? I don't want no do... fucking toolbox. I ain't fixing shit. Get that nigga a lawnmower and fire the lawn people you got now. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and pots do, and pans for your birthday. I'm gonna keep it all the way real too. You know what else? You know what else you bitches like to do? Huh? Y'all like to get us double you fucking gifts. No, Y'all like to get us double fucking gifts. Gifts that's good for both for both. I mean, you gotta we do gotta do the lawn. Exactly. Bitch, I don't fucking lawn. Put you mode. to work. Your fuck gift is y'all putting you to work. Right. <laughs> Employing you to the yeah, you gotta do that and that. No. Fuck that. Like, fuck that. This Father's Day, man. Look the fuck out. I'm gonna be straight up. Give Bitch, him the break. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck that. You ain't even no father. You can't even talk on this shit no more. Listen, that's this motherfucking Father's Day, break the motherfucking bank on us. Fuck that shit. She's been out of work. She couldn't. Pop. We don't want no fucking cologne for the seventeenth straight fucking year. No cologne. The fourth oh, year. Everything is banned for all you motherfuckers. Cologne, out here. cologne, socks, socks, ties, motherfucking polo. Belts, Hold pajamas, on, hey, pajamas, po pajamas, motherfucking polo draws mm -hmm. from fucking Ross and, and Burlington no, Coat no, Factory. No, 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 no. Wait, po polo tees. I don't want none of them Ugg slippers no, either. Don't I, I don't want the Ugg slippers either. Nope. They ain't got slip fit. They get. ain't got slip fit at Ross and Burlington mm -hmm. Coat Factory. No, he didn't. We tired of you bitches going to fucking. What do you want? Give an idea, good. No, what's the other one? Ross, Burlington Coat Factory. TJ Maxx. No, no. What's the other one? Um. The fuck is the other one? Marshalls. Marshalls, man. They go get the whole. What your do whole... you want? Give us ideas for good gifts, then. What's go a good get gift? us some money. Some get, give us drop a motherfucker couple bands on us. Let us decide what the fuck we want to do. We tired of you bitches giving us cologne every year. Like what the fuck is y'all trying to say? We stink. You yes. Better off, they better off going to Fashion Nova. Get, the get him something for his feet. And coming in. And right. Go, and, and treat it. And treat a player. Get Don't him a gift player. certificate right. for a pedicure and a massage. Don't cheat that's a player. Perfect. Treat a player, right. baby. God that's, damn. That's another fuck pedicure. wrong with you. Give out a gift like. What are you talking about, Wallow? What? You didn't have a baby just yet. No, I got, I'm got. i still a five out here. 
All right. Yeah, Wallow birthed a lot of motherfucking kids out this joint. I father. keep bumping you the niggas I mean, that look just like y'all. You, know, you see how I many niggas be running up on the camera? What you doing? Get up. You still <laughs> sitting around? This ain't this. That ain't this. Yo, he birthed a, He got a lot well, of fucking kids out here. This little young boy just told me that you was his real dad. His name Woo Biddy. He said that you think no, he was I your dad. Was nigga named Woo Biddy. Woo Biddy. <laughs> Shout out to Woo Biddy. Woo Biddy said you might be his father. No, I don't know that. <laughs> Trying to put kids on me. Now he ain't got no kids. Five seconds ago, I got a lot of kids over here. No, no, not that. I'm talking about like, like, like from figuratively. Here, like, okay. Hey, not let's literally. Rap. I got nieces and nephews. They ain't like my kids. Hey, let's wrap this they up, though, kids. right? But before we do, we just want to let you bitches know we don't want no motherfucking loan. <laughs> We don't want no fucking socks. Wallets. We don't want no fucking wallets, no toolboxes, no fucking lawnmowers. We don't want none of that goofy ass shit. Just understand that. Let, but, okay. And, let's, and it ain't your day. And it ain't your fucking day. It's not your day. day. That's right, Tony. Wow, Let them wow. know. It ain't your day. It ain't your fucking day. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You, you, you fucked a, a raggedy ass nigga and he ain't in the life no more. You can't claim I'm the mother and if I know the fuck you ain't, bitch. You his mother. The fuck That's out of here. Yeah, because y- y'all want to claim move. I'm his mother and his father. No, 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 no. You, no, no, you ain't. You his mother. And, and, and take some responsibility that you fucked a raggedy nigga. Uh oh. You pick raggedy nigga, so let's take some responsibility and you don't just put it all on his raggedy ass dad. You got to take some responsibility too. I'm going to just say this I to the women out raggedies. here. I'm going to say this to the women Ooh. out here. Put some protection on your selection. Uh-oh. You got to be real selective okay, of like who you that. choose to be your mate. Right. Because you got to understand, relationships is an investment. Absolutely. Some people is liabilities and some people is assets. And, so, and some bitches just choose, they just be choosing for a bruise. No, they be choosing the scene. They be choosing right now. And they be choosing the, no, the They be the choo- what the fuck you mean? They be choosing for a bruising. Yeah. They just want a nigga to come through, lay him down, spray him down, but not stay around. Yeah. So, you know, you got to let a hoe be real. a hoe, man. You can't, you know, we ain't, we ain't judging. We just want you to be the, the best version of you. You know what I mean? That's right. <laughs> 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 she liked that. Hey, let's talk about Juneteenth. Yes, happy mm-hmm. holidays, happy black people. Now, I'm going to keep it all the way real. Just up to about a couple days ago, I didn't know what Juneteenth was. I just Respect. found out what Juneteenth was. Respect. You know what I mean? But I am going to say this. Niggas always on Instagram. Damn, Gilly stupid. How you don't know what Juneteenth is? <laughs> How you... Th- Y'all niggas wasn't screaming this shit last year and two years ago and five years ago and ten years ago. So <laughs> let's not act like you niggas ain't just found out the fuck yeah, about it. Yeah, definitely got more power. Don't be judging me. I'm just not fake. I'm not a fake ass motherfucker to be like, oh, I know what it is. Don't really know. No, I had no fucking idea what Juneteenth was. I honestly, when I kept seeing that shit, I thought a nigga album was coming out. I'm just being. <laughs> out. I'm like Juneteenth. What the fuck? Don't be afraid to say you don't know something. Right. That's how you learn shit, so, y'all. So I had to get a little educated on what was yeah. going on. Wallow said, "Be for real. Only reason why I knew is because I was in jail." So, like, like the only reason, like, I ain't gonna. Find, I wouldn't never knew because a lot of times, we, but when you in jail. Shout out to all my brothers in the joint. The brothers be, you know, you be getting jails. educated. You be getting educated about your history. A lot of people out here they don't have time to get educated about their history and understand that that's liberation day, the day that the free, you know. Well, they don't teach like, it in school. That's the thing. It's not taught. I know they're they not going to teach no shit like that in school. Right. Yeah. So how the fuck? But that, but, but so it, it goes I'm back. Like. To so the, that's why so many people don't know. Some people don't choose to educate themselves beyond high school or college or whatever. So if they don't teach it, so and you don't the last go. Time to, you read a fucking book. I read a lot. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say some real shit. I just shit read though. the bio of Malcolm X. Okay. Okay. And it you took me two weeks. Movie. I did I see know. the movie a lot of thousand years ago, but I read the bio. But listen, once again. And it was better than the movie. Once again, as he's saying the bio of Malcolm X, check out The Mind of Wallow. The book is out right now. Check it out. Check Hit the it link. Out. Check it out. But listen, back to what I'm saying is, you got to understand this. A lot of us, we be so caught up in life and we so caught up in the struggles of life. A lot of us don't have the time. Well, don't take the time to tap into our blackness. And mm. it depends on your upbringing, where you was yes, brought up in. That's was a you fact. brought up in, was you Muslim? What, you know, Sunni Muslim? Was you in the nation of Islam? Is your people, uh, are your people Christian? Different, it's like different religious backgrounds that's educate fact. you wow, on wow. different stuff. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? A lot of the brothers that's, that was in the penitentiary, uh, 5% of this nation of Islam, they always up on the history of black people, it's black experience in America. You know what I mean? Since the beginning of the time also. So it's like everything is about your religious background a lot of times. But sometimes you might have people that they father or their aunt or their uncle just was on some 
educating themselves about exactly. where they come from so they can understand where they're going at. A lot of people, they not on that time. Now, it, uh, I'm thankful that a lot of people is weird like you. You know what I mean? You was a nut ass nigga, but now you understand what Juneteenth is and you're right. aware about what's going on and you're aware about a lot of things. And that's just like everybody else. The only thing that's different between you, you're not fronting and acting like you've been on. Right. right. Everybody acting like, oh, I've been on, right. I've been on the consciousness. I've been supporting my black people. Mm. No, we everybody haven't been. And it's cool that you wasn't, but now you're on point. Right. And you woke up and it, right. I'm just thankful to everybody coming together and trying to figure it out and learn more about where they come from. But it's cool to not know. But but you play yourself when you don't know and act like you know and just be front. You can't really learn like that. Absolutely. Tell your kids. The, the best part now is the awareness, though. Like everything that's happening for for the culture is more awareness. So yeah. so you're going to hear more about you know the emancipation and freedom in, in, in yeah. our culture now because of what's happening. So it's dope that's happening for real. Right. And we don't celebrate Fourth of July. That's canceled. We don't do that. And tell your kids. I bet I see you in no barbecues. My daughter, door. yeah, my yeah. daughter, no seriously, right my daughter was like in. Um, my daughter's in fourth grade. She's going to fifth grade. My daughter was in second grade in Black History Month, February. They didn't do one thing the whole month, and that's twenty. <clears throat> That's right now. You know what I mean? Nothing the whole month. The whole class half black, and they don't do nothing for black kids. Man, you got to teach your kids on your own. Teach them stuff. They got to know about themselves first before anybody else teach them. You would think you learn that in the home. I was blessed with my grandmother. We celebrated Kwanzaa every year. They play African drums. I knew what a slave ship looked like inside at five. Shout out to Granny. I think that we don't understand the significance of time mm. that we really living in. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because we don't, we really ain't gonna be able to tell until 30, 40, 20, 50 years from now, the significance of this time right now mm -hmm. that we living in. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Do you feel like, where does this rate in like, the one of the proudest black moments? in history like I think it got to be up there it's I mean, up there with the civil rights thing uh, it got to be pretty high. a lot of people uh has wait uh, was woke and it and it took mm -hmm. life see nothing is more the biggest teacher in life is experience see we had a lot of our black people that was woke already on point but a lot of times i'm not saying it, but i'm just being real a lot of times our people we had it we had a we had a way of oh i'm woke you sleep you ain't on it, you a nut. Right, 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 And if they, right. They, instead of saying, damn, I'm an educator, I'm here, the education's here mm -hmm. if you need it, instead of pressing it on people, saying all oh, you did, because it was, I seen a lot of people that was woke, they used to just beat people up. Yeah. Right. And people, nobody liked to get beat up, but nobody liked to, you know what I mean? When you're going to somebody, like if I'm coming to you, even though you're another ass thing, I'm like, excuse me, uh, another ass thing, can I share something with you? I ain't right. just gonna come and say, oh, you just done the third. Yeah. No, 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 you gotta come and I'm try to- I'm letting him get the nut ass nigga off of his birthday. No, I had to slide it off, I had to. It's, it's all about delivery, so he right, you make somebody feel delivery. stupid, how like they gonna Like you be on Instagram and anything is about beating a person up and it's right. like, hold up, chill, just, let's give him a shot to try to figure it out. That's right. how a lot of people is, A lot of people is receptive. Every, the, your approach make people receptive to you yes. or, or non-receptive. Everything is about approach in life. And everything is about a personal experience. Some people might be ready and some people not because everybody alarm clock come on a different time. I was doing yep. a bunch of nut shit most of my life. You know what I mean? As a young kid. Just another ass nigga. City. Yeah, that's part another of it. Another ass niggas do nut shit. Listen, but growing up in inner city, I didn't know my alarm clock ain't come home ain't, ain't come on until I was in jail. Laying mm -hmm. in a hot ass cell and the walls were sweating. Mm -hmm. So somebody else's alarm clock might don't come on until, you know, they get shot or they go or they lose somebody in their family or they go, you know what I mean? So every, different strokes for different folks. So let me ask you a question then. All three of y'all. It's been numerous killings on camera. George Floyd is not the first person, ain't gonna be the last person to get murdered on camera. Why do y'all think his was one of the reasons, his murder was the reason that all of this is going on opposed to other murders that's face it, it was it was a, it was it was just the energy the energy and the vibe and the facial expression that a cop when he was yes. when he was when he was when he had that knee on his neck right and that face <clears> that he had on his face like let me tell you that facial expression of this just a nigga i'm cool i'm gonna mm -hmm. be all right ain't nobody gonna do nothing mm -hmm. you know what's gonna happen to me the immunity that the police have is is unbelievable but i think me believe i'm one of the person i'm real i'm real optimistic and there's a lot of people out here on the front line and i just want to say something that everybody that's doing something i don't care if you're sharing a post on, on social media, or you sharing it with one of your friends, you sit on the DM, or you on the front line, or you, you're fighting, you loop, whatever you're doing, everybody got a part to play, and nobody part is bigger than anybody else. It's about continuing to push push the message out there and get it out there. You got some people that you don't see, 
that's back there, you know, helping bills get passed and all that. They don't, they don't be on the front line march. Mm -hmm. They somewhere else doing some other shit. You got some people, they burn shit down. You got some people, they just be on, on Instagram. You got some people, they just tweet. So everybody got a part to play. But one thing is about that one, that one woke, it, woke everything up. And I want to say something to my people. A lot of times, we want change. But make sure we have a plan of the change that we want to see. And we ain't just, just yelling and screaming and arguing and just... You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we get in some rooms and be having opportunity. we get in rooms where things can be changed, but we go in there without no plan and we so heard about what happened that we we, we just want to express that and blast the people. It got to be a dialogue with people that you might don't even fucking like in order to get some shit to happen for some things to change. So we just got to be, just be mindful of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Watch your approach. And you know, you know, I think that that video has so much power be, uh, because you saw the, the people that were bystanders that were like you could hear the expression of hurt, and it it, it, it impacted people more. No, we saw the first responders. You see the first responders and everybody coming in. You just get that 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 raw emotion of other other people feeling uh, victimless of, uh, and not being able to do anything when when you can obviously see wrong. I think. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mom. It's the amount of time for sure, like how long it was. It was such a long amount of time. Then you watching him die because at a point he's speaking and then he's not speaking anymore. So I just feel like you with that one, you know, you can see somebody get shot. You kind of know they die. We like watched him die, like kind of. So it was a little different. And then I think it's almost symbolic because, you know, they say like, um, the the bigger problem is systematic oppression, systematic racism, like the foot the foot on the neck. The, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's exactly how we died. I mean, it's terrible I as think, it sounds. I think all of those are some great points. I think f for me personally, I feel <clears throat> one of the biggest reasons, if not the biggest reason, that George Floyd has won global <clears throat> COVID and a lot of times all the other black killings that you see, the black murders that you see, they go global but not like this is because when George Floyd had that knee in his neck, you had white people walk over there and say, yo, what is you doing? Mm -hmm. Yo, he's not even, mm -hmm. what, he's not resisting arrest. See, right there on camera, you got white people and black people as one saying to the police, black guy like, yo, what the, so you just not gonna take your fucking knee off his neck? You got a white lady like, what is you doing? See, check his post. When that shit come together, mm -hmm. now it's saying, oh no, 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 no. This ain't no color that's involved. This ain't black, this ain't white. This is murder, nigga. What the fuck are you doing? This ain't black, this Human, ain't white, this is wrong or right. Right. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel as though, like, because uh, you, you see, you see, prime example, you see the one kid, he running down the street, he get gunned down in broad daylight. Wasn't doing shit. Why wasn't no protesting like this going on about that? This is shit we seeing with our physical eyes. We seeing a kid run down the street, he get gunned down. I think everybody was busy back then. COVID-19 set everybody ass down. So so you, you gotta think about it. Even when you look at like like the, the DJs that you saw blow up overnight because you know, they had that, that time where everybody now consuming, you know, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. People so, got tired so, of that so, shit, burned so, up. So when it's in their face directly right now where everybody's saying, you can't go, you can't run from it. You at the crib. You you know, you, you, you got to be exposed to what's really happening. Right. And there's so many people sharing it and so many people sick of seeing the shit that perfect timing for, for a change, man, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into our next sponsor. Let's get into our next sponsor, ShipStation.com. And you, I want you to do is, I want you to go to ShipStation.com. I want you to use the code GAME, right? Use the code GAME. You get a free 60-day, I'm talking about free 60-day for all our listeners. This is for our listeners. Free 60-day when you use the code. One thing about ShipStation, what they do is, no matter what you're selling, Amazon, SD, your own website, ShipStation bring all your orders under one simple interface. Make things really easy to manage from any device, even your phone. So everybody that's out there, I know everybody jumped into the e-commerce game heavy since, you know, we've been down in, uh, you know, COVID-19. Everybody jumped into the e-commerce so strong, it's like, bang, this is what you need right here. This is gonna bring everything, woof! Bring everything to gamer, make, 
Make your shipping experience real easy. And I'm talking about you, you know, I'm talking about you over there eating pussy, bro. You want he ate that like that. I'm talking was about a the pussy. fastest, easiest, <laughs> most really affordable. Listen, the fastest, easy, most affordable way to manage your ship your orders, just a few clicks, and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels, and getting your products to happy customers. Shipstation.com, cold game. Listen, free 60 day for all our listeners. Check them out right now. Shipstation.com. Shipstation.com. Code game. To all our listeners, please take advantage. That's what we're here for. Okay, let me ask you a question. Was it good, bro? Yeah, that pussy was good. Damn. I didn't like it. I knew I wouldn't like it. Damn. Oh, pussy little was kink, good. little kink master. <laughs> totally, totally hey, too far. Hey, 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 let me ask you a question. Well, so they say. Under no cir- circumstances, right? Should a guy ever hit a woman, right? That's yeah. Facts. That's that's right. <laughs> Suppose you out. You in April in Miami this weekend. Mm. Y'all having dinner outside restaurant. It's five girls sitting right next to y'all. Money girls say. Hey April, yeah, bitch! I ordered one of my, I ordered one of my frontals, bitch, and it was too big. It ain't fucking fit, bitch. You should have told us you had sizes small, extra small. April said, "Hold on, what are you talking about? I ain't, I don't got sizes one size fit all." You know, very respectful. And you be thinking you all that, bitch? We seen you on the gram, bitch. Next thing you know, they got April on a hurricane of punches and feet. Oh, shit. Five bitches dogging her. They jumping April. Now, at no circumstances is a man supposed to hit a woman. Right? <laughs> what you doing? They just picked a fight with your bitch in Miami. Five bitches jumped on her. Punches coming from everywhere. Feet, too. Feats and everything. I'm talking about they in there doing the MC ham on it. Let's get it started. They doing this joint back and forth on it. Like, what you doing? Let me just explain something to you. Let, let me get this out. One thing about my baby, ADS, Able Diva Styles, AK, the Baltimore Bomber. Yes. She'd be, yeah, she'd, be, she'd, be, she'd be the dog shit out of five bras. I just seen, listen, I'm gonna I tell you about it. an incident that happened. You know, she was in the door one time ordering something. It was a couple girls together. Somebody said some slick shit. They thanked me for holding her back from putting foot all in their asses. And she was by just me and her. Let me explain something to you. She ain't that type. But I'm gonna tell you something. In the event that that happened and somebody jumped on her ass, I gotta measure how a week went. Now if we had a little week and she said some fly shit to me and she was a little tough during the weekend, I might let, get, listen, I might let them touch up a little bit. So I can have something to throw at her back Tuna when we get into the up. argument. Didn't I tell you, ho, 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 you, oh, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't say all that to Keisha and Dashiki <laughs> <laughs> when they was hitting the mother cuts and all that. Don't get tough with me, baby. I'm just, just something to have, you know what I mean, when she tell you some tough right. shit to me. Right. Oh my but God. More, more than likely, I'm, I'm gonna just tell you, when that, when that day come, we'll see what happened, but that ain't gonna happen. Not, not, with, not with the Baltimore bomber Mm-mm. in this corner. <laughs> no, she not, ain't nothing sweet about her. Okay, so hold on, so hold on. So say if we was out and about. Somebody jumped on white girl. And somebody jumped on your ass, white girl. That's I love the pocket, but I don't know and why sock- y'all got queen of the fucking mild on there. I don't know why y'all got the hoagie on there. Fucking bitch dry. Hold on, dude. Stop talking about it like this. This is our people's fuck that bitch, Gil. No, y'all should have got a Philly Motor bitch. Motor run. Y'all got this bitch out there. Motor bitch, not a rumble. But no, hold on. This bitch all from be all in Delaware. Oh, oh, today we got a special guest, on. Cardi B. She look like Cardi B today. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a it's a pink wig, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, and then five like bitches it. jump on your ass. What me and Wallow supposed to do? Let me tell you something. When what the we footage drops, right, of me giving one to the body, right, and tagging the other one, because I got two by myself, and I it cut to y'all, and you doing that fake drag the bitch and all that. If y'all don't swing, I'm punching one of y'all. It depends on what sex. It depends on the sex. If I see the fight and neither one of you niggas, okay, we in a gang. This is a gang. If y'all don't swing on one of these bitches, I'm talking about. Wallow back booked. Wallow, you got to violate. You got to violate. What if the video come back and in the course of all that shit going on, 
you just see me in the camera like this. Running. I'm just saying, man. I, I'm <laughs> it might going get hot. to punch one of y'all and y'all got to rumble me. Damn, hood man, shit. Hood rules from back in the day. When you don't fight, you got to get sucker punched. You got to get punched. And that's what's going to happen. I'm a well, see, I'm, I'm, I know you're going to help. Different. Two is going to be like, listen, I don't want any trouble. Uh, and they going to. They gonna wear two ass out. <laughs> <laughs> like they gonna two wear two fighter. Fuck no. She pretty. And they too. gonna wear two ass out. And so guess you, what? What? I'm gonna wear them bitches out. That's what the fuck I'm talking <laughs> about. Fuck you talking about. You bitches we better get the Philly. fuck off my woman right now. Because I'm gonna try to exalt. I'm gonna try to let yo chill out, y'all. Stop. Y'all put two D in the hurricane of punches. All that don't hit women shit go out the window with me. I'm you with bitches it. gonna be getting tossed in traffic and all. Yeah. I'm gonna be throwing them bitches everywhere. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Fuck crazy. Fuck is you talking? Listen, is you crazy? Okay. That's the all, energy okay. I like. No, no, no. Fuck that, my nigga. Imagine somebody recorded and put the video out. It's getting recorded. You, you know, gilly. You know what type of shit I'm gonna go through at home for letting two of your ass. You just was standing there. You could have did something. Did <laughs> two shit sitting out here. Two, you you could have did something. I'm throwing bitches in traffic and right. everything. As Fucking you should. Fuck that. I'm throwing, pocket, the, I'm throwing bitches in the. I'm throwing bitches in the moving cars and everything. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you, dog? Body punches and more. I'm gonna let hey, five hey, bitches. Is a rider though, bro. You think I'm gonna let five bitches whip my wife ass for no reason? Even for reason, they're you not whooping your you wife got, ass. You, you, no, you got you got if two bought that sometimes I'm a realist. If yeah, sometimes right. you bought ass whooping, you no, deserve man. it. You know? no. <laughs> if you <laughs> don't help spicy, you the way you was talking to that bitch, you, you act like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a one on one and two was talking spicy, bitch, you don't want it with me. Okay, hold on. If it's a one on one, the least my nigga could do is put that bitch hey, in a hey. nice little shimmy like this and let me work on a hey, ring. Hey, on the one on one and they're getting two, what you doing? I'm let two get her ass with them. Oh, yeah. that's bullshit. No, two, hold listen. the bitch arms and act like you bring no, it I'm up not so doing I can two, hey, two, Listen, two acts for hold that one on one. I, I live oh, by old up. school rules. I live by old school rules. Clip Motherfucker that bitch ask for a one on one, you so gotta get me one. What if she stumbles two out? If no, she no, loses. She ain't gonna stop. Stop and break it up by then. Hold on. What if she swing on you then? No, no, I. Bitch, get out! Of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He fine. Go ahead, bitch. Did I tell you get out of here, bitch? All right, you won. All right, but five bitches. Oh no, 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 no. Five bitches on two. Oh no. That's solid. That's solid. Yeah, he let April get her ass with me. I feel like he men. Be he be out there talking about he the Baltimore, Baltimore bomber. They jump on April like how he is. <laughs> He be come on the bomber, April. Be you bitch ass nigga. You better. Hey, he ain't gonna be in the corner throwing in the towel. Throw in the towel. They all on April. We talk about I won't go back to jail for violation. The men at home don't hit a woman, but if a, if your girlfriend's fighting, act like you breaking it up, but hold the other bitch arm so she could get off on her. Like put her in a little they got, chicken wing. They got April so on the ground. This nut ass nigga talk about I can't go back. To That's jail the real nigga violation. thing to do. Pretend Lying you're breaking on. it up. But let your bitch win. Or clip the other bitch leg real fast. Don't let nobody see it on video. They're going to dog you in the comments. Hey, let me ask y'all this question. What's the biggest song that ever come out of Philadelphia? Summertime. Dream Chasers intro. Easily. That's easy. Summertime, Will Summertime. Smith. And I'm deep. Summertime. Of course he going to. Fuck, of course no, okay, he going to. Okay, okay, it's on, a dinosaur. You said, dream, you hold, said hold, uh, the intro. What's the not. top five songs that come out of Philadelphia history? I know, all right. It's four left. Get down on the ground. Uh, what's the Get down on the ground. No, 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 fuck no. Get you down on the, the ground is on that bitch. I'm on the fucking list, He's bitch. on the list. What the fuck, fuck is his show? You Get down on the it. ground. Love is Blind by Eve is on the list. No, it's not. Come on. That's only, uh, only we like that. Fuck you mean only we like that? All right. Dream Chasers is number one. That's before, Summertime oh, is number two. Summer, my man. Even though what we do is wrong. Since, Summertime since number one. Damn forever, bro. Summertime been running for fucking thirty years. Yeah, man. summertime is a is, come on, bro. Is, Even though what we do is wrong, man. Come on, hey, summertime is like the number. Summertime one only get played in the fucking summertime. They get played around the world. That's summer. too fucking much, it's man. Get it's a summer. dinosaur. Shout out to Will. Dog, we love they were just singing Meek Mill shit on the plane, man. Yes, they did. Philly versus Atlanta plane. Do y'all realize that that song probably like ten years old, twelve years old? Yeah, they got hang time. My mother knows yeah, that song that, word for word. For sure. My mother. I'm just saying. Hey, hey when the club, hey, I'm just saying. It's dropping the club. Everybody, everybody go up. Yes. everybody uh, go up. I'm That's just the club saying. Everywhere. Like, everywhere. 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 What, what we do? Freeway. Yeah, what we do is wrong. Yes, it's on the list. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a bar banger. What we do? Freeway. Yes, All right, it's so a we bar got banger. so we got me, me, freeway, 
<laughs> no, you're not on the fucking yes, list. Yes, I am. You're not on the ground. You're not on no fucking. You're not on no rap list. I don't give a fuck. No, no fucking hate a bitch. No, let him be on the list. Let me see. I'll put somebody. Look, I'll put I'll put R and B before he go. The fuck is you talking about? It's me. What about Jill Scott? No, we said, no. we said rap, 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 rap. I thought it was rap, rap but y'all want to, y'all want to. We wanna... doing rap. So it'd be. Okay, so Selfish, p and Rock. No. no. Are you crazy? No. That was a big song. EST, it the was, unusual but, fella, the but greatest man alive. the other song alive. was bigger. No, Selfish was the shit. No, the other song was bigger. The other, his other song, right? The, the first one. Yeah, his so first song was bigger. What we got so far? What we got? Okay, do? so it's me. It's no, me. what the fuck? No, Get listen, I don't care. Ground. We can pick Lil Boop and just start rapping last week on the list. Not it's you. Me. Fuck no, you ain't on it's the list. Meek, it's Meek Dream, first. Dream it's Dream Meek Dream. first. Yeah. Summertime. Summertime. What we do. What we do. What we do. Get down, I think on, the Get down on the ground. Will Smith, summertime first. Uh, all right, flip flop them. Get down on the ground and. um. Ho, ho, ho. Something from the 80s. Give a good 80s song. Yo, why you keep trying to lay shit shit all up in there? It's on Boy, the list. It's, it's on little, the list. I like it. It's a little neighborhood hit. Niggas be having neighborhood. Shout out to the rappers out there. Shout out to the rappers with all the neighborhood hits. Radio, 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 radio. Well, everybody in your neighborhood talking about this the shit. So you keep staying that in your neighborhood. That was not a local song. That was a fucking neighborhood song. All seriousness, that was not local. That wasn't local, was it? People was not playing in the South. That was a radio everywhere song. That was song. That shit wasn't going nowhere past this. That was not no Hitting that boy in Allegheny. Nobody was fucking with that dude. Oh, no, you didn't. Fucking That's a Z, lie. This Z League rapper. This dude is a fucking bum. Listen, he you might be a bum, but up. that, that hey, was the song. Hold on. That was some good shit, though. A neighborhood. Hit. Niggas be having neighborhood hits. <laughs> That wasn't it though. That was on the radio everywhere. While though, Come that on, was a man. radio joint. He was that was a cop song. He told somebody <laughs> get down on the ground. That was <laughs> hey, police shit. Oh fucking neighborhood hit. Oh, Motherfuckers be having neighborhood hits, thinking they popping. I'm popping. What's a good here? '80s Philly song, y'all? <laughs> that was some funny. So what's the top you five? Older niggas. So top five is Meek, Summertime, What We Do, Get Down on the Ground, and We Need One More. I think we flip should side. Go, I think we should go with uh, Saturday Night uh, Schoolie D. How do it go? It was a Saturday night. I was feeling kind of sporty. Went to the bar, got me a 40. Got kind of hot. You know what I mean? Kind of drunk. So, uh, what? I'm just saying. That's a I don't know it. She said back in the. You know, EST. I know a couple of his jams. You dig me? I feel like that's what y'all used to call songs back in the Beanie day. Beanie Seagull. I was about to say Seagull got it. Oh, Seagull. oh. Yeah. Feel it in the air. Yeah. Yes. Feel, feel it, it in the fucking air. Yeah, can't forget yes. Beanie. Shout out to Beanie. Beanie Seagull. So, the truth. Hey, listen, my favorite rapper. Let's go to. Uh, Stories from the cell. Stories from the cell, man. All right, well, you know, today is a great day for me. Today is my birthday. Uh, and I and I told y'all this before, but I'm gonna tap into it. And I'm gonna tap into some shit that's connected to it. Well, it was one year that I was in jail and I just forgot my birthday. Cause I was so focused on doing time, I forgot about it. You just being there doing time, you don't, I wasn't a dude to try to keep track of the times. I just knew the month changed when we got our free 10 stamp, 10, 10 envelopes. They put your 10 envelopes on the door every month so I was cool with that once I got that that was just like everything I got that and it was like all right bet you know what I mean I was like I was to the point of understanding like all right I'm just I know a month, another month passed because then you know the new envelopes so I didn't pay attention to months but I realized it was my birthday after I got a card that day from my grandma now I'm saying it to say this it was moments like that Anybody that know me, Gil know me, my woman, everybody, even family, they know I'm not really big on birthdays and celebration because what happened was I had to escape the reality of the celebration because I wasn't used to being celebrated. So I was cool with convincing myself that I ain't want nothing. Gil to tell you, no, we're going to, I'll be like, no, I'm cool. And I, I it, hurt, it hurt me in some type of way because I convinced myself that I'm cool with not being celebrated on the day that I was born because I'm so used to not being celebrated because I was in jail for so long and it's like it don't matter. Uh I think I'm I think I'm turning out and I'm I'm recovering from that from that damage that was caused to me, but just forgetting my birthday and an old head just telling me like, "Man, I do that all the time." It 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 puts you in this place that you be at in jail. And it's fucked up because I was able to convince myself that I don't want to celebrate. No, I'm cool. I don't want nothing. I don't want because I was in that place so much where I wasn't celebrated. And uh nobody wasn't, you know, me it's like, that ain't something you like talk about in jail. It's my birthday. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? It's your birthday. 
So even when I came out here, I brought this. No, I brought that same mentality out here. Of, hey, no, that was funny though. Who gives a fuck? It's your birthday. No, that's that'd be somebody mindset in jail. Right. So you come out here, you take on that, that trait that you established when you was in jail, and it's just like it was fucked up. So now I'm just like I'm living my life. I'm doing things. You know what I mean? Like I'm in a place in my life where it's though. I could do what I want to do, you know what I mean? So it's just like to be able to try to celebrate and allow, and I and I had to really, at the talking to somebody, I had to realize I have to allow people that love me to celebrate me and embrace yes. their celebration of me. But I didn't know nothing about that and I ain't understand that. I was being selfish, not allowing people to do that and want to do things. Come on, let's go out, let's do that. I'm like, nah, nah, I ain't with that. I'm cool, I'm cool. And they're like, fuck is the man with him? This, this dude been in jail. But that was my whole thing. So I had to really do some, some self-reflecting with himself and have a conversation with myself well, that's what I always do anyway. Have yeah, a conversation with myself to yourself, on you. the next level and just like stop fighting the feeling and let people that love me celebrate the day that I came into this earth. So, you know, it's but like jail is a dangerous place. It's a lonely place. And uh, a lot of things that might be special to you, whatever celebrations, whatever, whatever, that it, it, it ain't really, it don't, it don't, it, I'm talking about it dying in jail, man. Like a lot of that shit dying, man. And it can mess you the fuck up forever. You know, I'm just happy that I, I realized that I had a problem going on with that and I'm able to accept it now. So, you know, I'm just thankful that today is, you know, my birthday, the day what's happened to be Father's Day too. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm just like, I'm happy with it. You know what I'm saying? That's everything so to you, me. So, so that's why you're going to Miami? Baby, I'm on my way. I'm ready to finish. Hey, April. Hi. All right, baby. <laughs> hey, <laughs> April. Hey, April. Oh, I got it. What, uh... He sit here talking about you know his birthday and and how you know how you had to you know really place on his heart that he's being selfish and he got to allow people to celebrate him in the day he was born and he don't never want to do nothing and you know we just want to tell you thank you for you know opening his mind up you know what I'm saying because you know he really was thinking like a like a like a lost soldier you know like a wounded warrior. You know what I mean, and you brought and you brought this you brought this guy's spirit back. He's sitting here with this nut ass shirt on and this bullshit ass hat, but at the end of the day, I just want to thank you for bringing this guy's spirit back. You know what I mean? Cause he was somewhere in the graveyard. He was just waiting for the for the dirt to get thrown on him. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna enjoy himself. He deserve it. I love him so much. I love you too, baby. The bomber, oh. the bomber. Hey, oh yeah, he called you the, the Baltimore bomber. bomber too. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Snitch. Hey, listen no, too. No, I'm talking about uh, no, because he put me in the daily headline one day. Hey, 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 let me tell you what you else he said. How we do it. Hey, let me tell you what else he said. Right, I, I came up with this question. I said, so at no point is a woman is a man supposed to hit a woman, right? I said, but <laughs> suppose you in April in Miami this weekend and. Five bitches just come at April for no reason. Just start talking crazy to her, and then they start, and then they jump her. Like, at no point is you supposed to hit a woman, but what is you doing? He talk about, well, it depends on the arguments me and April had this week, and if she was talking spicy to me. <laughs> you know he, he talk about he that. He said you kick their ass, April. Baby, but you know listen, what? he said because he said, listen. You know, I he said, said I'm going to hold shit down. No, he did You I bitch ass nigga, you what? lying. I said, I'm going to hold shit down. He said you kick their ass, April. I'm going to hold shit down. He love you. I'm going to hold shit down. He talk about if she was talking spicy to me, I might let her get a little tuned up. and then did I say that? He did say that. He did say that. He did say that. Oh, uh, you said that shit. You were that ass. Like, like, you said like, that ass. Listen, man, I don't know where they be listening to. You know, you know, you know, you know, Gil be drinking. I love you too, babe. I'm going to call you. Later. All right, All right yo, that's, yo, that's when. Why you use a rat, man? Why you going to fuck him? Smut on my name on the joint. You wasn't supposed to tell me. Yo, that. you're an ultra bitch ass nigga. You know, nigga. she the bottom of bomber because he don't miss one call. He don't care what we we'll doing. Yeah, Hello, baby. Hello, Hello baby. I'm going to talk to you this nigga, second, baby. Nigga, bitch ass nigga. I, I sent two to voicemail 11 ass. times. He be soon as that motherfucker. Baby, we record, baby. Well, Wallo, blink twice if you getting your ass whooped by the Baltimore bomber. Oh, yeah, he getting the Baltimore bomber whooping that nigga ass. Oh, no blinks. He happy. That man happy. Blink twice, nigga. <laughs> that man happy. Happy birthday, Wallo. This is a great episode. <laughs> hey, yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, man. Bro. I'm glad that you finally, you know, come out your shell, Dude, man. You got to do one thing for me, man, for my birthday. <laughs> what? You got to put the gloves and the hat on, man. Oh, I ain't doing that shit. No. Do that for my birthday, Gil. Please 
Just one time, Don't man. do it, Gilly. This, this is my birthday. You ain't got to do nothing else for me. Put the put the lay on, man. I just want to. Well, I, I got to put your gloves ahead. Start screen recording vibe, now, man. people at home. I just want to feel the vibe, man. I'm telling you, this shit is, this is, you're going you gonna to feel different. You want to feel like a cop one time? time? You no, want me to feel like a fucking no, police officer? No, I need a cop. You want to feel like a rat? You understand how I feel. I feel different. I come alive. You want to feel like a Karen? Put my joint on here. Put that glove on there. Oh my God, these niggas twins. Put that glove on there. It's the same nigga. It's the same nigga. You can't even tell them apart. Put this glove on right there. These some milky brown Egyptian looking niggas. Don't they look for it? Listen, I'm going to teach you how to do my one move that I'll be doing. They look like Somalians. These niggas look like Somalians. It's a classic move. Do this move right here, cuz. Now, for some reason. They look just alike. I feel like I look like I'm ready to lock a nigga up. Yeah, you look like Wallow, 267. Do like this one time. You know that move I do in the car? Do that one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh my God, y'all look just alike. You got it. They man. look just alike. Hey, you feel hey, that whole vibe right here. Spicy as a motherfucker. Even. <laughs> no, you doing? Let it me wrong. see the move, while I'm. Cut to the music. It's a birthday party. Is <laughs> a sport to this shit? You got it. Is a sport. I wore my pink wig for Wallow's yeah, birthday. Feel my shots, like feel yeah, my yeah, I feel like a rat. <laughs> feel like I'm ready to bring you, a whole you, cartel down. That. <laughs> that's how I feel. You know that, like nigga. Like hey, listen, life. man. We want to shout out. First of all, let's give a shout out to Rona Proof. Shout out to Rona. Yeah, my man Proof, came man. up here to celebrate my birthday with me, man. Rona Proof each up. and every Sunday, three o'clock. And I just want to say that's something. A fact. Gil be beating the shit out of him and mad. I'll be story. beating the dog shit out of him and he's mad. So now you gonna lie? Okay. We gotta have a you tournament. To we gonna have we gotta have a million dollars worth of game Madden tournament because right. you be talking a lot of shit. Hey, nobody can beat hey, me. I beat hey, Young hey, Thug. Hey bro, hold I on. beat the Sean Jackson. Young I beat the shit out of you. I beat the shit out of Young Thug too. Bro, you got like a record. I beat Young Thug. I beat Young Thug. I got a lot. I got a lot. No, 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 no. I ain't two and seventeen. All I wanna do is be your friend, dude. Two and seventeen, bro. What'd you say? I said all I want to do is be your friend, Duke. Who the fuck is Duke? Young oh, thug. she's stalking somebody in the paint. Oh, bring that shit out. Young Who Thug is it? Young Thug. Oh. I know. They are good. Pass me another listen. one, Gil. On some, on some real shit. On some, listen, I'm telling you. He don't eat some, stuff listen, like that. They have to be shit. vegan. Listen, we got to have a joint, Tone. <laughs> <laughs> You that ass nigga. You that ass nigga on my glasses. You got this shit on my glasses. Happy birthday. Man, I was game. Don't call me white right, girl. Happy birthday, you that ass nigga. Happy birthday, you that ass nigga. This million dollars worth of game. You gonna try to get me back, and it's just like you that. Right.